Podorowski intended his next project to be his masterpiece, an ambitious and colossal adaptation of Frank Herbert's science fiction classic, Dune. To realize his vision, Podorowski gathered together an unprecedented team of talented graphic artists, including Swiss horror master H.R. Geiger, American special effects expert Dan O'Bannon, and French comic book genius Jean Moebius Girard. Together, they would attempt to make Hodorowsky's dream a reality. Actually, I had the idea that, then, uh, that uh, um, a, an artist in comics could be a good artist in movie because it's a little bit the same. And uh, we met uh, completely uh, by chance. And uh, he was uh, going out of building and, and I was going in. <laughs> and he, he said, are you uh, Mobius? And I said, yes. Oh, I need you to do a movie. We leave uh, to Hollywood uh, next week. <laughs> he wanted to do a great saga, a film, the, the best film ever done, you know. Uh, mystic, uh, and, and a message for the, the whole planet. He made 3,000 drawings and we made the script. We shoot the depiction. He was the camera, I was the, the director. But sadly, the project was never to leave the drawing board. Hodorowsky's ideas were too grand even for Hollywood, and after three years of work, his massive project was shelved. The film was eventually made, and ironically turned out to be the biggest budget movie of its time, as well as a huge flop for American director David Lynch. When they, they say to me he will do Dune, I was ill. I was very ill. I get ill because I say, the, these damn guys, they, they get the only one director who can do that. And he will do it maybe better than me. And when I, wait, I, I went to the movies, I, I sit there, but I was with urticaria, with eczema, I was trembling. Uh, uh, I say, he will be better than my project. And then step by step, minute to minute, I start to... to to lose my eczema, to get, uh, to laugh, to, to be happy, I'm more happy. I was happy, it was so awful. <laughs>